and we got this very interesting looking drink. I've never had a drink that looks like this and you guys know I've drinking a lot of boba drinks. Whoa. Hi everyone, in today's video we are doing trying new boba shops in the Bay Area. So as we all know from the numerous boba videos I have on my channel, there is a plethora of boba shops in the Bay Area, but it doesn't seem to stop. There's always new ones opening up. When I say new boba shops, I really mean like it's been open from maybe zero to six months or something, or it opened this year. And there are a few like newer places that I've already tried in my other videos, such as Sunrite, Mr. Sun, True Dan. So if you guys wanna see me review those places, I will link those videos in the description. So yeah, if you guys are excited for this video and you like these boba taste test videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like so I know you guys like these kinds of videos. And with that being said, let's head to the first stop. All right, so we just stopped by the first stop, which is called drink or Dr. Ink. I'm not really sure, but it's in downtown San Jose and there's actually Urban Ritual like right there. So I haven't gotten a chance to try them out yet because every time I come here, I just go to Urban Ritual. And I just have to point out that their whole like aesthetic and the inside is so pretty. There's plants, there's like marble countertops. It's just really, really nice. A great place to hang out and take photos and stuff. And that's also reflected in their drinks. Like look at this one. It has like a gradient between the black and white and there's like some marbling as well. So yeah, I was originally just gonna get a drink but I saw they have these soft serves with boba. This is the black tea soft serve and it comes with boba already. So I had to try it. And then this one is the black nougat ink latte. This one doesn't have any caffeine in it or anything. I'm really, really excited to try these. I'm gonna go ahead and try the soft serve first because I'm scared it's gonna melt. And I also wanna make sure the boba doesn't like get too hard because usually when you put boba in like really cold things, it gets harder faster. Gotta make sure we get a bite with the boba. All right, let's try it. Mm -hmm. The soft serve is really, really creamy, but it's like kind of light at the same time. It's like not super dense or rich, but still creamy. I'd say the black tea flavor itself isn't super, super prominent. It tastes good, but it's not like super strong tea flavor. And the boba is a little bit on the hard side, but it's still chewy, so not bad. All right, now let's go ahead and try the drink. Of course, we have our Feed Mei Mei glass reusable boba straw. Link is in the description. They said to make sure you stir it before you drink it, so let's go ahead and do that. Wow, it does taste very like nutty and nougaty. <laughs> nougaty. You definitely get like a strong taste of the nougat and it goes well with the milk. I definitely think it's worth a try because it's really unique. It is like a cool thing if you want to try something new. It's also very Instagrammable or aesthetic. Just really pretty to look at. So yeah, overall, I definitely think this place is worth checking out. And I definitely want to try some more of their drinks because they have other things there like matcha lattes and regular milk teas and like fruit drinks as well. But yeah, let's head to the second spot. All right, so we just stopped by R&B Tea inside Westfield Valley Fair. And this place, I believe, has a bunch of locations in SoCal, and they also have another one in Vietnam Town, San Jose. First, can we just talk about how big this drink is? Like, literally, it's literally like the same size as my head and I have a big head. But anyway, this is the Hawaiian fruit green tea. And I saw that on their menu board, they have like a list of the top 10 drinks. This is number one. So I think this is like their most popular drink and they recommend normal 100% sweet for first time customers. So I went ahead and did that. I got 50% ice and I also added crystal boba down there. I don't know if you guys can see it. This, even though it was big, is a little bit pricey. After tax, it was like $8 or something, like $8.17 something like that. It looks super nice and refreshing. There's so many like fresh fruits in there. Hmm. Wow, I'm already like shocked that this is 100% sweet because it's actually not that sweet. Like I'm not saying that it's not sweet enough, but I feel like at a different boba shop, this might be like 70% sweet. I think 50% ice was a good call on this one because in this drink, not only does ice take up space, but they also have these like fresh fruits that take up a lot of space as well. And if you're gonna get a topping on the bottom, that also takes up space. But also to be fair, this is a extremely huge cup. 
Mm. I've been having a moment with crystal boba lately. Like, of course, I still love my original boba, you know, brown sugar boba, honey boba, all that. But I actually did have a moment with crystal boba like five years ago, and I guess it's resurfacing because I don't know. I just really like it. It definitely has a little bit of a crunchier texture than boba, but it's still chewy at the same time, and it's kind of more like a jelly-ish texture. It's just really good in like these refreshing drinks and stuff. So I'm having a moment with it. So yeah, this is pretty decent. If you like fruit teas, I would definitely recommend you try it. But we still have more new spots to try it, so let's head to the third stop. Oh my god, it fits in my cup holder! <laughs> okay, anyway, bye. <laughs> Okay, so we just stopped by the third stop, which is called Boba Pup in Santa Clara. And let's be real, the reason I wanted to visit is because I saw these cute cups. I guess they're like mason jar bottle type of things and they're reusable. They actually have a lot of different designs of bottles and when you order, you can't really choose what design you want. They just randomly pick one. So just keep that in mind if you guys plan on visiting. And it's also two extra dollars to get it in the bottle because you get to keep it. So yeah, when I was ordering, I saw they had like three drinks that they recommended. So I assume those are the most popular ones. And one of them was this ube latte. So obviously had to get that. I love ube everything. So this drink was $5.50 plus 50 cents for the boba plus $2 for the bottle. So it was $8. Gosh, that's too much! <laughs> I guess we'll see if it was worth the price. Oh my gosh, my feed me my boba straw doesn't fit. Pretty sure this lid is for like the plastic straws. So since it's a glass straw, it's like thicker. All right, let's give it a mix. Ooh, you can see all that ube down there. Look. Hmm. Oh wow. I think they put like real ube in it. A lot of places just use like ube extract and they don't use like real ube. But when you drink it, you can definitely taste the real ube and also like the texture has that kind of graininess-ish, starchiness, I guess. Because ube is purple yam, so it has that like certain texture that yam has. The boba is actually pretty soft and chewy. I'm actually impressed. The flavor of this is actually very sweet potato e like it straight up tastes like you're drinking like a liquid sweet potato <laughs> i've made a lot of ube stuff at home like ube souffle pancakes ube mochi donuts ube mochi pancakes and i've also consumed a lot of ube things in my life and this one definitely tastes more sweet potato y than any of those ube things I've ever had. If you like sweet potato, I definitely think you will like this. So yeah, so far every place has been pretty decent actually. I've been pleasantly surprised at all of them. So let's head to the fourth stop. All right, so we just stopped by our fourth stop, which is you, me, tea. I think that's how you say it. In the store, they have a sign and also on the cup, it also says it's all about you and me. So I assume that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, you, me, tea. But anyway, this location has been around for about a year, so it's not super new, but I did notice that they're starting to open other locations around the Bay. Like I think they just opened in Newark and in Fremont. So it's still relatively new to the boba scene in the Bay Area. Or at least that's what I'm gonna tell myself for this video. So anyway, I asked them what their most popular drink is and they said it was this one. This is the taro and mochi black tea latte with light ice. You can see like the different layers, like down here is the mochi layer, then we got the taro layer and then the black tea on top. So I'm really excited to try this mochi topping. I tried it for the first time at Sunrite for a video. So I'll link that in the cards if you wanna check that out. But yeah, I'm excited to try you, me, uh, version. <laughs> Saying that name is just confusing me. All right, let's give it a mix. Whoa, it is kind of hard to sip at first because the drinkable mochi is pretty thick as well as the taro paste is also thick. So a lot of thickness going on. But wow, yeah, I'm pretty impressed by this. You definitely taste the taro flavor and you can feel the texture as well. And the drinkable mochi, if I remember correctly, I feel like the one at Sunrite is more chewy this one is very like smooth and i guess it would just depend on what your preference is if you would rather have one that's just smoother or you, you would rather have one that's more on the chewier side because mochi is technically chewy the drink part itself like the liquid is actually not sweet if you don't get it with the taro and the mochi it actually is like very unsweet 
So I definitely recommend drinking it all together. But yeah, this one, it's pretty unique. I'm pleasantly surprised. And now I want to come back and try their other drinks that have the mochi in it as well. So yeah, I guess today everything is going pretty well. You know, this is not super common for my videos, but these new boba shops in the Bay definitely are not coming to play. <laughs> oh my God, I got bars. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I think we're gonna hit up two more places. So let's head to the fifth stop All right, so we just stopped by the fifth stop, which is Wanpo Tea Shop. And apparently this is from Taiwan. It says Taichung, Taiwan. And I believe they're pretty new. They just opened in Stanford Shopping Center a few months ago. And what they're most well known for is their brown sugar boba. And I was super excited to try it because I'm always on the hunt for a really good brown sugar boba spot, but they were sold out and I was so sad. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. So I went ahead and got this instead. This is the custard boba milk tea with Oreo, light ice, and regular sugar. And they say to shake it slash mix it well before drinking it. So let's go ahead and do that. A few moments later. I actually do like the boba texture. It's like soft and chewy, but not mushy. The milk tea has a nice, strong black tea flavor. I do find that the Oreos gives it kind of this chalky texture. When I'm like biting down to chew the boba, I kind of feel this chalky texture and I'm not a huge fan of that. But other than that, I'd say this is pretty good. Wait, let me check how much I paid for this. Oh, 625. And this is like not that big. I feel like you could get this drink and at this size for like, Five or 5.50 at a different boba shop. So I do think 6.25 is quite steep. But yeah, other than that, not too many complaints. I definitely want to come back and try the brown sugar boba. But yeah, that being said, let's finally head to the last stop. All right, so we just went to the last stop and it was a little bit unexpected because I originally wanted to go to this place called Sana Na 19 or something. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it turns out they were like a pop-up in this restaurant and then they said that the pop-up ended. But anyway, it turns out the restaurant that they were having a pop-up in, I guess started their own like boba place. So the restaurant is called Yan's Garden and then their boba shop within the restaurant is called Yan's Tea. And we got this very interesting looking drink. I've never had a drink that looks like this and you guys know I've drinking a lot of boba drinks. So yeah, I'm very intrigued to try it. It's called the Strawberry Coconut Ice Jelly. So I assume this stuff at the bottom is the ice jelly. And if you guys can see, it's like see-through. Like look, you can see my hand through it. Hello. Oh my gosh, look at my eye. But anyway, so I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to mix it, but I guess I'll just try it as it is right now. And if I feel like it's supposed to be mixed, I'll just mix it. Whoa, the ice jelly part, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. I think maybe since it has like practically no flavor, it's really just supposed to be a texture thing. And it's supposed to like complement slash highlight like the drink flavor. <laughs> the flavor in the drink. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a mix. Wow, look at the ice jelly at the bottom. The drink definitely delivers on the strawberry flavor. And I believe the coconut part is just that they use coconut milk. So I think it's just like coconut milk with strawberry puree. And it is very strawberry-y and the coconut milk goes together really well with it. I think the ice jelly, even though it doesn't have a lot of flavor, it adds a nice texture to the drink that it otherwise wouldn't have. The jelly, it's like more firm than say grass jelly usually is. Grass jelly is usually very silky and smooth. This one is more firm, so it has a more crunchy texture. But yeah, I mean, I don't think this is a bad drink. It also was $7 or something like that after tax. So 
definitely high up there on the price. But yeah, for trying this drink for the first time, I'm definitely not disappointed or anything. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if there are any other new boba places in the Bay, I know we really only got to like South Bay slash Peninsula today, but if there are any other new ones around the Bay, let me know in the comments below and maybe we can do a part two if you guys want to see it. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up and here's today's comment shout out. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to be in the next video's comment shout out, make sure you comment something down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Alright. Oh shoot. Oh no. Aya. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. Oh no. Ah, it's all over my hair. Oh my god, it's spilling like crazy. And I'm wearing white. Ah. Oh my gosh, someone just parked here. And then now there's like a shiny on my face. Hold on. Okay, that did nothing. How about this? No? Can't fix that. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna deal with it. <laughs>